na nidhamu now, President William Ruto has once again reiterated his call to unite the continent and push the African agenda globally. The president reminded African leaders of the continent's great potential and availability of resources. During a joint session of the Congolese parliament in Brazzaville, President Ruto also called for elimination of visa and trade barriers in order to stimulate free trade. He further explained his call for reforms on the multinational financial institutions, which will be key in addressing Africa's debt crisis. Délégation qui vous accompagne. Il y a cinq ans, jour pour jour, en 2018. African countries are spending more on debt service than any other expenditure, including public services, including health, including education, including provision of water. We have reached the point where debt and well-being are mutually ex exclusive. And this is a matter of fundamental justice. These economic and financial challenges associated with climate change keep pushing African governments into greater macroeconomic instability and closer to debt distress. Low- and middle-income countries are now contending with a conditional fiscal burden of trying to recover from increasingly frequent and high-cost climate crisis. I want to ask you as members of parliament to work with us to reform the Africa Union, to give it voice to give it structure that is going to make sure that Africa speaks in the language that is understood with clarity on our issues so that we can drive our agenda, grow our trade, and make sure Africa moves forward. I think we have a 0.2% tax that is supposed to be levied in our countries. We want to ask every country to live up to that commitment so that we can support the African Union.